Hi Leo, I hope you're all doing well. I pulled out two cards, one for what's supporting you and the other for what's challenging you at this time. So for your support, we get your card, Leo, and it says shine at the bottom, and then also Saturn with structure. Okay, so I feel like Aries also got their own card. The fire energies I feel like are doing real well right now. I think you're being very successful with something you're doing here because you've put a lot of work into it. Your work is being rewarded. You are getting noticed. I also feel like um, people are looking to you for wise counsel on things, advice. That might feel a little bit annoying I'm almost getting for you. It's like, I feel as though you want to have your focus elsewhere, but the, there's like energy pulls or people are pulling on your energy to get you to answer something or, or get you to talk about something that maybe you don't want to talk about or even feel something. But know that this is part of, well, I heard the cosmic structure, okay? So it's something about, uh, this was gonna come around either way in your life somebody wants you okay Leo. somebody wants you and they have no problem expressing it i'm not sure if you feel like this person fits in your structure you might actually feel like this person is unstructured what's challenging at this time is opposition confrontation i feel like somebody wants you so bad that they're almost confrontational with you and i'm also seeing the oh the six of cups the knight of cups and the three of swords here Okay, I, I don't know. It's almost like a little bit of an obsession energy. This could be in any aspect of your life. It could be love, work, friendships, family. I don't know, but it feels like you're doing real well for yourself. You're getting noticed. You're shining really bright here. And you've got some kind of routine either coming in or you're doing it right now and it's working for you. And then, of course, here comes somebody to butt heads with you, but it feels like it's because they want you. Yeah, lovers and the nine of swords. See, it's like they're stressed out that they can't have you. They can't have a connection or a contract with you. Or if you're connected to this person already, they like want more of you, more of your time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what, uh, what's going on here for Leo. I'm going to do a Celtic cross for Leo. You don't have to be a Leo sun sign to have this message resonate. Okay, I heard Leo in the 10th. I don't know, Leo, which I have. <laughs> well, it's a split between my 10th and 11th. Okay. Let's see here. You could be the cross watcher. This could be your message. I am gonna do an extended. That link will be in the description box below if you're interested in checking that out. Let's find out here what's going on for Leo's. Current energy, King of Cups. Okay, so I feel as though you've closed yourself off to someone because you've seen something in them that you don't quite appreciate or you don't agree with. Let's get all the cards out here. Leo. Yeah. Bottom, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. It's almost like you want to turn down this person without really turning them down. I don't feel like you want a confrontation at all here. It's almost like you want somebody to kind of just fade away or the conflict to fade away if it's not this person. And it's because your focus is somewhere else. But you've seen something that you don't agree with here. You've seen that they are a little bit relentless, stubborn, conflict-driven, maybe oriented towards drama in some way. Let me get another card on this person and find out what's going on here. Well, let's get one of these. What's going on with this person? That's all I love you, sweetheart, but you're really getting on my nerves today, girl. Can, can you either go on that chair or go upstairs? Because I'm going to close the door. 
See, I feel like that's your attitude. You're like, if you keep this shit up, I'm closing the door on you. I feel like that's the point at which you're at. And this person keeps coming back. You know, what happens in a reading is part of it. Tenth house. Didn't I say that? Ooh. Tenth house. So this says authority here. Hmm. So this person in eighth house here with mystery. So you might not understand why this person creates confrontation and conflict, but it seems like they're trying to get the upper hand on you or they want some kind of authority or that's the only way they know how to feel like they're in control of a situation is through opposition and confrontation. Huh. Yeah, I feel like Leo, um, Saturn is on your side here. So <laughs> I heard this person doesn't stand a chance. Like uh, if they continue in this energy, it's going to have some kind of repercussions for them. It's a difficult journey they're trying to take here in the way they're acting with you. They're going to run into a lot of conflicts. I also feel like you have a tipping point here. I mean, look how ferocious this line is. You have a tipping point where, you know, I heard, don't mistake my kindness for weakness. But I'm actually getting it more like, don't mistake my charisma for love. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, maybe that's how that person feels about you. Let's see here. In the past, we have the chariot. Okay, you could be dealing with a cancer. Don't have to be. We also have Aries, lots of water, uh, Gemini, potentially. It doesn't have to be any of those signs, but those signs, those energies are prominent in this connection. Okay, I feel like this person's a little emotional in, in not a completely positive way. But in the past here, I see that Well, it's interesting. I've never focused on this, but I'm seeing it as like a top spinner. And it's kind of like a whirlwind. Something was a whirlwind. It's like you just spun it to see what would happen. Maybe you entered this with a little bit too much of a open mind. Okay, I think there was lots of excitement, movement. feels like you were kind of just going with the flow with something. I think you underestimated this person's potential to kind of like, I don't want to, it feels like attached to you, but it's, it's like they really desire you. It could be a Scorpio. I'm getting this sense of like nine of cups. Yeah, like they see you as, Zen, I heard. They see you as really Zen, but they also see you as like their happiness. I have to say, Leo, I feel like this is a trend for this person. I heard the word trend. It's like they... I'm, I'm getting they envelop themselves in someone else's energy and claim it as their own is what I got. Okay, but in the past, it looks good here. But I think it was a little bit, a little bit careless here, okay? I don't think you thought it would be as much of um, an issue as it's turning out to be. For some of you, there was a promise made here. Pixel, I swear, if you come up here, it's over. It's over if you come up here. Yeah, I should see her. her little face is like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to fucking do it anyways, and I don't even care. Don't do it. Well, as soon as I break eye contact with her, she's going to jump up. I know it. I really feel like this is the energy that you're dealing with. It's almost like, it's almost like, because I'm only seeing half of her face. She's hiding her other half behind something. It's almost like this person's stalking you a little bit or watching you. I don't want to like to say stalking. That's kind of a, a charged word. But it's like they're focused on you, you know? And it's like, when is Leo going to shift their attention so I can just come there and be with them? And I don't know. It's kind of weird, okay? 
And I'm feeling cross watcher energy. Again, this might not be your reading. It's a general reading. So if this doesn't resonate with you or you're the cross watcher, you know, this just might not be your reading. Wow, interesting. I don't know who you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be love. It could be in any part of your life, Leo, that you're dealing with someone like this, okay? And maybe that's a message for you too if you're the cross watcher. Leo's dealing with someone or something that's a little bit of a nuisance here and causing them issues. Okay, so what did you learn from the past? The two of pentacles. Well, what looked promising and balanced here, sturdy, stable, ready to go forward, turned out to be something that was pretty chaotic or something that you had to keep up in the air. Like you had to juggle this person so that they would feel wanted or they would feel included. It's almost that energy of like, that friend in the group who's always saying, well, you guys don't invite me. You don't include me in what, what you're doing. But you're like, well, why do you need that invitation? Like, just show up, like, just come. No, no you don't need somebody to invite you. Just come along. And the person's like, well, you don't really want me there. It's something like that, okay? It feels like that. This person needs a lot of reassurance. Yeah, and I feel like you're too busy to do that. So what's your strength here? The fool. And I feel like your strength in this case is somewhat the weakness here. Pixel. All right. What did I say? It's over for you. Get down. Get down. Okay. Out you go. That's it. Yep. All right. Don't destroy the place. All right, guys. <laughs> Oh my God. It's like your good faith in things, okay? That's a little bit of your strength here. You you go after things, you know, when you're interested in something, you go for it. But I feel like it could also be your weakness because I'm seeing these two cards as pretty in a line here. But what's good now is that you're bringing structure to this energy of trying new things or meeting new people. You're being a little bit more cautious of, how you present yourself to people that you meet. Because Leo, I feel as though whoever I'm talking to here, and you don't have to be a Leo sun sign, but whoever I'm talking to, you have this thing where you're just very charismatic and people are drawn to you and they see that as like a personal connection. You know, like, oh, Leo feel like Leo is so charismatic around me or Leo is so open with me. They share so many things with me. And, and, you know, it's about me, you know, and, and my connection with Leo. But it's like they don't realize that that's just your personality and you're like that with a lot of people. And it's not because you're like a player or something like that. It's just that's who you are. And this person wants you all to themselves. Okay. Coming up in the near future, we have the Queen of Cups. I feel like you're going to do some self-reflection here about, you know, how you got into this predicament and it feels more like a predicament to me than anything else it really does it feels way less severe to you than it does to this person it, as i'm reading it so you're going to look uh at yourself here of your actions you're also going to consider your own feelings in relationship to whoever this is or whatever this is I feel like you've turned your back on them. And I don't think you want to come, I don't think you want to come and do that from like a harsh place. Like that, you saw how harsh I was with her. It was like <laughs> nothing, right? It's like you don't want to bear your fangs, you know? You don't want to do that. Your fangs, interesting. I feel like this person uh, when they don't get what they want, they accuse you of like using them. Okay. So how are they seeing you? The magician is somebody who can get whatever they want, but I feel like they feel you could be manipulative. But again, it's more about themselves. You know, it's more that they can't have you. They're probably the one that's manipulative projecting that. But they see you as being able to get everything it is that you want and desire in your life, that you're very abundant, that you make things happen. And you do. 
because you go after it and you're supported by Saturn here, karmically. You're shining. You're, I heard, in charge of production. Okay, I don't know. You produce a lot of things. You have great imagination. You are a big energy to contend with and even to stand beside. It takes somebody very strong to be your lover. Okay, if we're talking about a love situation or even a business partner, they need to either compliment you in a way that isn't confrontational or they need to be equal to you. Okay, in terms of like having that same energy to try new things, to meet new people, to go forward, to be social. Or they need to allow you to step into the spotlight when you want to. And I'm really seeing that here with the shine card too. And not feel threatened by that. Those are the energies that work best with the, whoever I'm talking to. How they're seeing the situation. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> the outside influence, which is probably how they're seeing the situation. The tower card. They're creating chaos in the background is what I got. Chaos in the background. I feel like this person is dramatic. I'm hearing Pisces. Okay, it could be a Pisces. Not to say that Pisces are dramatic, but I just, that's what I got there. Yeah. I feel like this person uh, cries wolf here to get your attention. It's just very draining. Your hopes and your fears are the five of wands in reverse. You don't want any conflict with this person. You're done competing for your own energy with them, I'm getting. Like, you don't want to divide your energy between what it is you're focused on and then this person. But I feel as though Spirit is saying, Leo, you kind of have to face this. You can't run from it and you can't be nice about it. And I know when you're upset and angry and when you're not nice, you're ferocious and a little bit fiery and scary to some people. But th there's a way to confront this. There's a way to resolve this conflict without being like that. I'm seeing the outcome as the two of swords here. You need to make a logical decision here, okay, about... how to move forward without this energy dragging you down. Let's get a little bit more advice here. Justice, yeah, logical, like I said, fair, be fair. Okay, even if you feel like, Queen of Swords, even if you feel like this person uh, <laughs> doesn't deserve logic, it's the advice is saying here to kind of just give them a, an inch here. Don't let them take a mile, but give them an inch, okay? It's like validate their feelings a little bit, but then be very firm about what it is that you need to happen here. Be balanced, be fair, come with logic, communication, clear cut. Stay away from the emotional realm because I feel like if you get into emotions or how emotions feel in this context, you're going to end up fighting with this person. They're, they're very volatile. I don't know why they're so volatile, this person. Well, I cut, I'm cutting on the Eight of Swords here. They seem to have a lot of shit going on in their life here. I really feel like they're sad that um, they can't have you again. So do what's fair in the situation. Do what's right. Communicate with them, okay? Don't shut them out like I did, right? Don't don't just shut the door and shut shut it out. You have to communicate with this person because they're not going to get it. They're they're going to come back or they're going to make the situation even grander than it is. All right, Leo. I'm going to go into your extended and I'm going to do a larger spread that is a you versus them. To see, you know, really how they're feeling and thinking about you, actions they plan on taking towards you, and all of that stuff. Um, 
And if this is where you go, I love you so much and I'll see you next time.